Hello, this is Gaming Central, and this is a brand new channel to YouTube, and this is going to be my first series, which is The Sims 3 Xbox 360. So let's get straight into it. Create a new game. Enter a name for my save. What game? I do not know what the name of my character is going to be yet. So I'm just going to put life, and then when I come up with a name, I'll edit um, I'll edit this if I can. So now we need to choose a place to live. Well, no, create sim, sorry. Wait for this to load. Creating a sim is fun and easy. Create a sim starts you off with a random sim to mold and transform. Don't like what you see? You can select a pre-made sim instead of instead or generate a new random sim. Welcome to create a sim. You can read more about create sim here. No. Right, so we're gonna be editing this guy to shape and mold him into what we want. I'm so cheap. So basics. His name is going to be Jefferson, because that's the first name that came to my mind. Jefferson. Last name can be Smith. Jessamine, Jefferman Smith, because it was the first thing that came to my mind again. Gender is going to be a male. He's going to be a teen, young adult. He's going, his hairstyle is going to be, hmm, um, oh, here we go, um, maybe something a bit longer, this, maybe, no, um, no, No, that's too girly. No. I see Jefferson like that. That's how I see him. There we go. Quick pan. Lovely. Pair with accessories. What shall he wear? He will wear that hat. Oh, it's shaved on the back. I'm not too keen on that. So then I should change it to a... What's this hairstyle? Mm, that's good. So then, hair with accessories. Grab the hat. Hair colour. We're gonna have a brown, it's still like that on the back. Oh well, can't be bothered to change it. Eyebrows. No. Oh, that's nice. I think I'll have that. Eyelashes, length. Oh, that's what she's the current hairstyle. 
the line around yet, everything that I want. So now we do looks. Heading is. What kind of face shall we have? Um. I like that. Eyes. I normally don't try to spend too long on this. We can have a here and either really dark or white. Really, really white. Um, I think we'll give him a bit of a tan. There we go. Oh, need to change what he's going to look like. We can either have him really, really fat and, and really, really wide. Or really skinny and skinnier. I think I'm gonna have him pretty wide. Um, yeah, that'll do. And then makeup. No, we don't need any of that. And now we go to clothing, which is one of my favorite parts in the game. When you create a sim because it takes a long time and then you also got his personality to choose and all that other stuff. So, let's see. No, that looks like for an old man or something. Ooh, this is nice. I think I'll have that. Um, put in the comments if you want me to change him or something. There is a way to change your sim, but it will take me a while to do because you need to get some points or something like that. That looks a bit friendly in those trousers. Same with those. No. Um, oh, those look nice. I think I'll pick them. Outfits. This is. Oh no, that's um, ev that's every day. I thought because you do get to pick what he wears. There, if he was swimming, he'd wear trunks. If he was doing an athletic vest, if he was attending a party, a tuxedo or something. Let's go to the shoes. And the camera can't see the shoes. There we are, just gonna have to hold it there. Whilst I choose. Um those look nice, I'm gonna keep them. Right then. So that's them. And accessories. I want to watch. He's already wearing one, but we'll see what else there is. How do I see what the watch Okay, I think that's all I can see. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. So that's a little wristband. I think I'm going to have a watch. I have that one. That looks pretty cool. So now we do formal. Like I said, if we're going to parties. Sure. So I'm gonna wear an outfit, and I could look like I could wear something that slend. No, I thought that was what Slenderman wore from distance. No, I think I'm gonna go with the old James Bond look and the same shoes because, like I said, if I move the camera, yeah, they go well. So accessories, you can't really. We could have a ring or something. Oh, glasses. I will do glasses because I've never done that in a sim before. I'll do that. So now sleepwear. Top. He could sleep topless, which I'm probably going to do. Oh, the little bunny slippers. Oh, that is so cute. I'm going to keep them just because it looks really, really funny. Yeah, I'm keeping the bunny slippers. Right now, if we go to athletic. I'm so 
that seems actually quite all right. Maybe change it to blue. And then accessories, we will have, we'll keep the shoes the same. They're just red and white. I think they're called sand shoes or something. I can't remember the name of them. Accessories, the same glasses again. And swimwear. We're just gonna have. Nope, not that. Oh, they're all the same, I guess so then. Bottoms. I want to change the trunks. I have them red. And then accessories. Is that glasses again? He won't be wearing his glasses because then they will rust or something. Personality. This is another favourite part of mine. So traits and wishes. It seems traits affect every part of their lives, from how they believe um, to what interactions they have available, from what wishes they have to what careers and skills they might excel at. Every single is unique and different, and traits might make up sorry make up those distant distinct personalities. Discover their new and new anchors or whatever it says of traits right here. Okay. So basically, this is your life traits are like um so this is what i'm going to be so i can either be absent-minded ambitious angler artistic athletic i'm going to be brave because we always because it's good to be brave i'm going to be childish because that always makes it fun and I'm going to be a computer wizard because that's how I am in real life anyway. Um, ooh, Daredevil seek the extreme side of life, even if it means making every day a chore extreme. They also love fire. I'm gonna go with a risk for that one. Don't know what that was. I'm not doing that. Easily, Im I want to do easily impress. Because then I can make friends a bit easier or something. Right. Now, these are my lifetime wishes. I could either be an international super spy, which I'm doing in my main, um, I have a, whenever I buy a game, I'll always have a main bit, then I'll have, I always have a main thing that I'm doing, then, um, the YouTube side of things. So, on my main bit, I want to be an international super spy, or I could become an astronaut, superstar athlete, that's what I used to be. Um, in my main one, because I had this game, I sold it, then I wanted it back, because I regretted selling it. Super popular. I also had that. Uh, no, that's what I had first. Then I bought this thing where I could change it. Or did I? No, I wanted to be super, super popular. That was my job. Superstar athlete. I. That's what I chose, though. I chose that um tray, and that was my job. Or I can be jack of all trades. I think I want to become an astronaut, because that sounds really fun. So is that it? I guess so. Favourites. I am going to like... Whatever that is. It looks like action or something. I love hamburgers. And my favourite colour is going to be black. And that's randomising it. Boys. I'm going to pick that because it sounds pretty deep and it doesn't sound squeaky. Biography, I'll probably do that if I get a girlfriend or something and she can write her own books and sell them or something like that. But not for, not for Jeffrey. So that's it. We're going to save him. Yes, make a copy. And today's episode is just going to be ma uh, me making a sim because it's already been um, nearly 15 minutes. So that's it. Done. Accept household. More, more sims is more fun. Are you sure you want to begin with a, um, with a household of only one sim? Yes. Right then. Let's accept. Yes, make a copy because that saves it. And here we are, now we choose our house, I'm going to choose our house and everything, and then I'm going to end the episode there. So we've got household funds of 16,000 simoleons. So we could get 
that house. Not those, those are too expensive. I can only get two houses, so I think I'm going to, I can either get, um, I'm gonna read it out, because I can't move the camera all the time. Adore Abode, 1BR, 1BA, um, 1110 Easy Street, or Blue Bungalow, 3BR, 1BA, 72 Erring Lane. I've been in both of these houses, as I said, um, I was in this house before I sold the game, and my current main game, I'm in this house, or, no, 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 I'm in a mansion over here or something. So, anyway, if you heard that noise, it's my brother shouting at my dog, because he's probably got a slip or something. Anyway, I'm going to choose the bungalow, nice and easy to start off with. I'm going to buy it unfurnished, because I normally like the houses like that. So, yeah, that's that. And once this is loaded, I'm going to end the video. So, hopefully, you enjoyed um, this episode. And, um, yeah, there will be a new video, hopefully tomorrow or as soon as this one's uploaded. And with a Kindle Fire HD7, which I'm recording with, it does take quite a while to upload. So until then, I'll watch some TV or open up a, or do something. And I've already got an achievement, baby steps, create a household. Right then, the tutorial. I will go through that in the next episode. So like I said, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more of this um, content, please subscribe and like. And um, yeah, see you soon. Bye.